Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what is on my MacBook Pro. I got a lot of questions asking you guys like what apps I had, my background, and all of that. So I decided to show you guys. And also I've been trying to do different setups for my videos. So as you can see, I'm filming here. This is the first time that I'm like filming in front of my photo wall. I really like how this setup looks. So if you guys like it, definitely let me know. But yeah, let's just get into the video. So if you guys don't already know, I have the 2020 MacBook Pro. Mine is the 13 inch one with the touch bar. It is space screen and it's the one with the M1 chip. So if you guys want to see the unboxing video or the review video for this MacBook, they will be linked in the description down below. If you guys are interested in seeing like a what's on my iPhone video, I already did one but like an updated version for 2021. Let me know in the comments because I've gotten some suggestions but I also feel like I just posted one of those. So yeah, just let me know. But let's just get into my MacBook. All right guys, so this is what my home screen looks like. So I just found this little like collage picture on Pinterest. It's actually like a picture of a collage that you can buy from somebody. I don't exactly remember what it's called or like where you can find it, but I'll link it down below. You can find it on my MacBook Pinterest board if you are interested. But yeah, so this is what it looks like. I really like the colors. Up here in the top right corner, I don't know why I have this image here. It was for a previous video and I guess I just never deleted it. I tried to clean up my desktop space before I filmed this video just so it wouldn't look too cluttered. So my desktop does not usually look this clean. But up here in the top left corner, I have four little folders here and I actually got these little like circle icons from Julia. I've mentioned her in a couple of my videos, but she's another YouTuber that has really good videos. Her channel will be linked in the description down below for you guys to go find her videos and you'll see some on like how to customize your MacBook and stuff. So if you want to know how to do some of the things that I do on here, you can go check out her video on her channel. Back to the folders. So I have four here, one for YouTube, school, just like my MacBook, and then a personal one. So in YouTube, I have five more folders on the inside and I actually drew like all of these little folder icons. So to do this, I believe I just went into Procreate and like took an image of something like for example, this camera or like my home screen of my channel and I kind of just like drew over it to make it look hand drawn. So as you can see, that's what it looks like. I actually love how this camera one turned out and I can show you guys an up close one later. But the folders that I have in here are my add-ins, channel stuff, green screens, video clips, and finished. So add-ins are basically just like all my add-ins, I guess. So we have some overlays for electronics, some little like video clips to add in. These are my channel like outro, button click, my social medias, some other things that I drew for my channel, and then Christmas stuff is all in here. And then my channel stuff folder is basically stuff for my channel that's not like for my videos. So we have some channel art that I previously had, and then some like other things that I've used for my channel. I believe this is the one that I have right now. Yeah, so this is my whole whole channel banner but obviously the whole thing doesn't show up on the screen so you guys see probably about like right here but I actually made this whole thing I just made a collage with pictures that I liked and then I put my name in the middle green screens you can probably guess are just a bunch of green screens I get these off of YouTube and some other things sometimes I make my own too but these are ones that I use and then I can obviously just take the green background out of them when I edit and then video clips is obviously my video clips folder so this is where I put all the video clips for the videos that I filmed. And then the one with the question mark here is a video that I'll be posting on Friday, hopefully. It's either going to be posting on Friday or Tuesday, but I just put question marks here so that I would not spoil the video for you guys, but that's just how I organize them. And then maybe like a week or so after the video actually posts, then I'll just go ahead and delete them. And then finally, we have my finished folder where all the finished videos go. So currently I have these two here. And then after this folder like fills up a little bit, then I will put them all onto my external hard drive. So yeah, that is all the stuff in my YouTube folder. Next is my school folder, and this is basically just stuff for school. It's actually pretty, like, clean right now because I just cleaned so much stuff out because we started a new semester. My MacBook folder basically has, like, backgrounds, desktop icons, all that kind of stuff. So this is, like, one of my favorites is the camera one. So on Procreate, I just traced over a picture of my camera and so that it looks a little bit more, like, hand-drawn and unique. So I thought this turned out really well. And then finally, I have a personal 
personal folder so these are just like random type things so that's everything that's like on my desktop so if you go down here then we have most of the apps that I use daily so obviously I have way more but I'll show you guys that later so just starting from the far left I have my finder which is just obviously this screen the launch pad is basically where all of my apps are stored so the apps that I have on my computer are basically the ones that come with the computer so like all of the main Apple apps and then ones that I have downloaded are Among Us this one that's used for like widgets Zoom, Final Cut Pro, Main Stage 3, Spotify, TikTok, Notion, Roblox I'm pretty sure my sister downloaded this with me and a couple more just like editing stuff so yeah those are my apps next I have Zoom which is what my school uses when I'm online then I have messages so this kind of like connects to my phone so like I guess I could text people on here but I don't really do that and then notes photos Safari Chrome I prefer to use Chrome over Safari I don't know I just like it better and I actually customized my Chrome so like this is what it looks like I customized the color and then also these things down here so I have YouTube YouTube studio Netflix Instagram Pinterest Amazon Target canvas YouTube mp3 is a little website that I use to turn like YouTube videos into audio or into like a video for me to save and then thematic music is a website that I use for music and then if you guys want to know how to get your like Chrome home screen to be like this you just go down here to customize I chose no background but you can choose from a bunch of these and then you can like upload your image too I went to color and theme and then I chose a custom color so you just click on it and then you pick the color that you want from here and then you just click done and it should set it for you so this is the one that I like it kind of just fits my whole aesthetic next to Chrome I have Final Cut Pro which is what I use to edit I already have a video on how I edit using Final Cut Pro if you guys are interested in watching it I know I've gotten some questions on that it'll be right up here in the iCard that was from like 2020 summertime I think so if you guys want an updated one definitely let me know Final Cut Pro I believe you can only get on an Apple MacBook or like Apple Mac computer but I would definitely suggest it if you have the opportunity to get it I love it it works great it is a little bit pricey but it's definitely worth it then we have Spotify if you guys want to go follow or like add me on Spotify I don't know what it's called my Spotify is just Alyssa Darland I make playlists once in a while next to Spotify I have my calendar and then Apple music then we have system preferences this is just like settings you know notion is what I use to like organize my life and if you guys want to see a little notion tour you can go check out this video that video is how I stay productive and organized but also at the end I did a notion tour so you guys can just skip through the time cards and find it there and then we have preview which I actually don't need here but that's there and then I got a lot of questions on how I like make my dock bar like this so I'll just show you guys so you go to system preferences and then you go to dock and menu bar and you can choose the size of your dock so you can make it like really tiny or you can make it like big which is what I like and then you can choose like how magnified it is like that's it's kind of hard to tell what I mean by that but it's basically just like how much the little icons grow when you drag your mouse over so this is what it looks like when you have no magnification you can see I unchecked it and then if I turn it back on and I turn it up a little bit then when I drag my mouse over it you can see they like get bigger so I usually have mine right about here so it just does that you can choose where you want it to be so left on this side here bottom which is where I like it and then on the right as well you can also decide how they open up like what effects you use I have this one on and a bunch of other things here so yeah that's how I made mine kind of get big or whatever so yeah that's basically it for what's on my MacBook the only like accessories that I have like physically on the computer is just a little like screen protector here it's just like one of those film ones it's really thin and you can see like straight through it so you can barely tell it's even there but yeah so that is it for what's on my MacBook thank you guys so much for watching today's video Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell down below to be notified whenever I post. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!